There we are downtown by the outflow channel. Yeah, see how it's all grown up with weeds? They need to clean that out. Just in case we get another flood like we did in 1980. All that growth in there will keep the uh, water from flowing out. There we go. This little thing, I don't know if you can read it. It's a cloudy day, it might rain. In the 1980s, 70s, this wasn't here. Now, you see that place over there? Kind of looks like a gazebo. Oh man, that was the place of horror. I'm telling you, all the druggies that get there have their little campfires. All right. It has such a bad reputation. People, these 150 miles, maybe, maybe, maybe uh, they even heard it in some sta other states. They'd come here. Okay, in the summertime it'd be real hot. Okay, and so as soon as that sun hit, went down and things cooled off. So everybody started coming out of their houses. They would bring their chairs. And they would come over here and sit at that camp ring by the campfire. All the little kids enjoyed it, you know, because there wasn't really that much. A lot of people didn't have much money, so that was their entertainment. They got to play with their little buddies. But because of all these little druggies, heroin addicts, even people, uh, drug dealers, you know, back here in the 80s, it was like Angel Dust, PCP, oh, same thing, uh, heroin. Crystal meth. Oh yeah. Yeah, the gangsters hitting out here. They're trying to recruit little young ladies getting hooked on heroin. Oh yeah. You know what happens on the oh, oh. they would turn them into prostitutes, that's what they did. Yep. And back in Around 86 and 93, had an evil guy coming around here and killing all those women. And all their tough boyfriends were never around to protect them. Yeah, mom and dad, keep it on your, your kids. I mean, they're trying to say, well, they're in the family. Yeah, right. Another thing bad about Riverside County, the child could run away from home at like 12 years old, the cops will tell you, they could do it. Nothing, to, uh, it's like practically illegal. But yeah, they got in trouble and you're responsible. But uh, yeah, these have big old bonfires here. I mean, it was really bad. And uh, there used to be like two of these. They tore one down and they built an apartment complex that the other one was at. And yeah, I mean, people from miles, all the druggies had come from miles to hang out here. That's how bad of a reputation it had. That little path there, bike walk thing, it's all new. They've been dumping some money in the, into it but our late uh, keeps going uh, green we never had that problem in the 1970s you know that semi truck is they used to be called the Alamo market and they eventually uh, closed that down he same owner owned Ortega market or on the bottom uh, Ortega mountain that mobile gas station way out there is new Cross street, it's a mobile circle K. They used to be across the street, but uh, the thieves were ripping it off and stuff. One of the circle K's, some people were working there. They were using it for a front to sell their drugs. And how they found out about it, one day you went there, gave them the money, 
filled up her car, went back to get her change. They went and unlocked the door. And they found out it was a front. Anyhow, Lake Smell some more.